what we need to do is obviously we need to go into our uh, Google Drive here. So let's type in Google Drive here. Now obviously I'm doing this in N8N, so if you wanna check out N8N, you can check it out below. So uh, we actually need on a changes to a specific uh, file right here. So we actually go here, or actually let me just go back and let me just do, do that again. It should be Google Drive and then it should be on a changes involving a specific folder. Uh, so I have a folder right here and this is the folder. And by the way, um, for this to work, your, your files need to be in text, uh, in text format, not in Google Docs format. So make sure to, to have this here. Now, once you have that, right? And once you upload that in tr transcriptions here, like I have it right here, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your NA10 workflow and you first wanna connect your Google Drive account. Now, uh, if you don't have this sign in with Google, what you will need to do is you will actually need to go and acquire the client ID and client secret for yourself. Now, how can you do this? You simply wanna go into your Google Cloud and what you wanna do is you wanna go to Google Cloud go to APIs and services and go enabled APIs and services here. And you simply want to go and search for, for Google Drive. Now, if you cannot see, go to a library and then go here, Google Drive API and click here. And now you want to make sure to actually go and uh, create credentials for this, um, for this Google Drive API. You can also click manage here and after you've done and then go to credentials and here you will have all credentials once you click here you will have all the credentials now sometimes what happens is if you go here you will need to add this authorized redirect url here this is the authorized url from here and then once you add all of these right here you will be able to sign in with google so once we sign in with google here um, as you can see, what we will need to do is we will need to add mode every minute. This just means that the sync will be done every minute. So every minute, uh, Google Drive or NA10 will check for our transcriptions folder. So that's the first thing that we need. Now from there, we're going to trigger on a changes involving a specific folder. So from there, as you can see, we have here a specific folder. Now for me, that folder is called uh, transcriptions, as you can see right here. And then we need to watch for a file created, right? So when there is a file created within transcriptions, then the trigger will happen. 